friends, it's Shayna and I'm back and I'm going to continue our series, Luxury on a Budget. This is our last installment and I'm going to be talking today about mini bags. And mini bags are all the craze right now. Um, they're very popular. Um, as you know, I love a small bag. I'm not going to go as far as saying I love a mini bag. I actually don't have any, um, except for one that I think can be used as a mini bag and I'll share that with you at the very end. But uh, today I'm going to highlight luxury items that are mini bags that are $900 or less. And so you might be saying, Shayna, on a budget, $900, but I'm going to start low and work my way up. And so I hope that you uh, see something that you like. And I just want to say there's sales going on. Um, there is a um, link to a uh, Farfetch uh, discount in my uh, bio. And so um, I would say shop around. Okay, so to start us off, and this one is very popular. Um, one of the influencers that I love is Cassie Thorpe, and she talks about Jack Moose all the time, and it's their Chiquito bag, and it comes in at $520. And it is a novelty bag. It is so tiny, my friends. I'm not really sure what you could put in there. Maybe it does have um, an inside card pocket, so maybe you could put an ID and a um, credit card in it. Uh, it has a logo in gold, lettering um, in the front with the name Jock Moose. Um, I could be saying it wrong. And uh, it has a magnetic closure. It's 100% leather um, and it has a thin shoulder strap uh, that you can use as well. It is a very popular piece. So even if you just buy it and uh, take it out um, on the town or leave it as a piece of your collection, um, you might want to add it. Next, we have another popular fashion house, especially um, recently, and it's Bottega Veneta, and it's their card case, and it comes in at $580, and it is a small card case in a Napa leather, and it has one open compartment uh, with a leather strap and drawstring fastening. It has silver hardware, it's super simple and cute, and uh, pretty affordable, and it's in all leather, so how can you beat that? Next, we're going to go to Givenchy. Yes. And um, one, this is a nod to one of their most popular bags, and it's the Baby Antigona leather bag. Now, I know people um, talk a lot about the Antigona bag, and one of the things that they say is that it's kind of bulky, but not in a mini bag and not in the baby version. And so it also has smooth calf, calf skin leather, and uh, it is a nod, as I said, to one of their iconic Givenchy bags. It has a trapezoid silhouette it has a removable chain strap a top zipper closure and it could be used as a shoulder bag or a crossbody and I actually thought it was pretty cute it comes in at $590 and I'm debating if I'll add it to my collection next up one of my favorite fashion houses is Saint Laurent and it's the Lou baby bag now I have um the Lou bag as well. It's the Lulu bag and it is a little bigger, much bigger, let's be honest, than this one. Uh, this one comes in at $725 and um, you can get it in the chevron quilted leather. It also comes with a beautiful leather tassel um, and on the front it has the YSL monogram in metal uh, letters and it has a leather and gold strap that you can use as a shoulder strap or a crossbody. And um, I also believe that you can possibly use it as a belt bag. And so um, it's pretty versatile and pretty simple, but something that you can wear with almost anything. And if you like me, I like a lot to wear a lot of black, even though you guys can't tell from my videos, uh, a lot of black and gray and it would look amazing. Next up, we have Burberry, and I always think Burberry is iconic, um, and they have this micro leather vintage check cube bag, and it comes in at $730, and I am going to be pretty honest with you guys, I am tempted by this bag. Uh, it is a miniature version of their runway bowling bag, and it comes in this smooth Italian tanned leather. It has the vintage check on it. It's in bows with their logo. It has a detachable strap. 
and it's leather. It also has leather wrapped padlock on it as a um, accessory kind of looking piece. And it has an exterior card slot along with a zip closure. It is super cute. Um, and I do think it is an accessible price point. And if you love just classic Burberry, I think this is a nice addition uh, to your collection. Next up, uh, one of my, uh, if you've heard some of my videos before, I got a Fendi bag when I was like 12 years old from my sister's got mom. Uh, definitely spoiled. She started this uh, journey of loving luxury items. And so uh, the Fendi Nano Baguette Charm, it comes in at $750. And I think this is by far the smallest. It is truly a micro mini bag and uh it's the micro version of their iconic baguette bag and so if you like that look this will be perfect for you um it has a flap closure and it uh dons the ff magnetic clasp so their ff motif a magnetic clasp and um you can attach it to bigger bags um it also can be put on a belt and so that makes it pretty versatile you know i love something that can go from Santana's bringing his toy for us that uh, can uh, be used in different ways and you can uh, it has a thin detachable chain strap that you can use as a shoulder strap or a crossbody it comes in their glaze fabric um, with the FF motif as I said and it has a gold finish to it and it has gold hardware little loop on the top and uh, it could be used as a belt bag a shoulder bag or a crossbody we love it Moving on, we're going to Balenciaga and they have their classic hourglass mini top handle bag. That comes in at $8.90. This is another uh, nod to iconic shape. Their hourglass uh, top handles are very, very popular. This one comes in the calfskin leather. It comes in multiple colors. One of the things I appreciate about Balenciaga is that they will bring the color, okay? And so if you're a girl who likes color and you just wanna pop, um, you'll see a version of this also in the blue that I absolutely thought was stunning. It has a top handle. It's adjustable and removable leather strap that comes along with it. It's in silver hardware. Um, it has a studded magnetic closure and uh, the B logo on the front. It has one back pocket, which is pretty cool that you could put maybe a card in or your ID. It comes in the Napa lambskin lining as well. And like I said, it is one of their iconic shapes. And last but not least, uh, and um, I've mentioned this uh, fashion house before, but it's Chloe and Chloe is pretty popular as well. And it's the Chloe Marcy mini leather bag. And their Marcy bag is pretty popular. I've seen it all over and uh, it comes in at $901. So it's like right there and it is sophisticated. It's classic. It's a mini Marcy. Um, and But this is the largest out of all the mini bags that I've highlighted today. It can be a shoulder bag. It has, uh, it's uh, made in their grains leather and uh, calfskin leather and it has fabric lining. It has an adjustable shoulder strap, which we love, especially short girls like me. We like an adjustable shoulder strap and it can be used as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Um, and I think it gives a lot more room than any of the other mini bags that I've highlighted today. And last but not least, I all the mini bags from Louis Vuitton are truly um, over this price point. Um, but this is a piece that I have highlighted before and I've showed you um, the mini pochette, right? And so if you are really looking for, if you are able to get it, it can definitely serve as a mini bag. And I have a video of how you can um, you can add an additional strap to wear a crossbody, how um, if your arms are smaller than mine, you can wear this on your shoulder. Um, I use it um, as a pouch and an accessory, but it can be used as a bag and something I will consider when I'm traveling in a way. And so this comes in, the mini pochette accessory comes in at $365. So it would have been the most affordable out of any of these mini bags. Um, it comes in the code canvas in both uh, the monogram and Demi Abing. 
and you can also get it in Demia Azor. And um, it has one big open compartment. It has this cute gold chain, which is very popular right now and something also to consider. So I hope that you guys like what you heard and what you saw. And if you did, I hope that you like, comment and subscribe. Hope to see you back soon.